Oh, this is heavy. Can I even fit three chickens? Yes. Okay, we are on the epic journey to get our chickens. Are we looking forward to this, boys? Yup. Yes! Yeah? I'm gonna call mine Roadrunner. You're gonna call yours Roadrunner? Yes. Is that a definite? Yes. Whatever colour, Roadrunner. Okay, what about you, Jack? Have you got a name yet or not? Nope, I'm just gonna see no. what they're like. See what they're like. That's, I don't that's think true. three chickens can got to think there. of their personality as well. Yes. Well, you've got chicken hair. <laughs> Look at that blowing in the wind. Right. Well, I haven't. Right, it's a cold blustery day. We are off. I didn't get a haircut yesterday, but then I didn't in the end. You need a haircut, dude. Right, we are off to get our chickens. Stay with us for our epic journey in chicken land. This will be our, like, last hour without chickens. Last hour without chickens. Crack on. Our last hour with only one pet that was in our old house. Let's go, 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 go. Okay, so we're just on the way to Barkley. Just text my mum. We're going to pick up some chicken food on the way um, and then we're going to be back to, with the chickens after we've collected them. Are you excited? Yep. As I said, mine's going to be called Roadrunner. Roadrunner. Is it the boiler room? Yeah. We're just checking out where to remind mum to bring the feed around. Whilst right. we get there. Crack on then, let's go. Oh, look at that. Someone's got their cows out, Jack. More people. Oh, we've seen quite a lot of cows out, haven't we, on the way we've up here? We've seen three groups. Wow. I think I need to get mine in. Yes, sir. Cow envy now, because people have got their cows out. Hey, look at the size of that farm, though. Yeah. Nice farm. I mean, right. I could do with the look of that farm. You can't really see because the hedge there, that's the problem. They've still got some cows in. Okay, we're nearly at our destination. We just spotted the sign up there so let's go and get our chickens here we go if we park up somewhere here we're here right let's arrived. go we have arrived at our destination Good. Okay, so it's exciting times. I am now at the farm to collect our chickens. I'm going to have a word with Ruth about the chicken um, rehoming. As you can see, it's a hive of activity. Look, there's there's uh, chicken cases now being cleaned out. There's steam. It looks like pressure washing them, cleaning them out. These are the proper cages rather than the ones or, or the collection boxes rather than the ones I've got in my um, car. But there's a big group of people. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people here. And these, it looks like they're, they're just sterilising. So we're going to go around into the barn. Look at this. This is where we're going to find the chickens. How exciting is this? So we have a selection. And here's the lady herself. And you happen to be holding a chicken. Well, good to escape, so Fancy that. They're, they're a bit feisty, this bunch. So um, Are they? We are into sort of they've been on top of the roof and everything. We've well, had about three escape. It's much, very kind much. of you to speak to me, and I'm, nice I've sort of taken this opportunity while I collect my chickens to find out a little bit more about the Hen Welfare Trust, what you do, how, how it all operates, and and all your team of volunteers. I'm impressed how many people you've yeah, got here. A huge team actually. We started the Barclay start, started about two uh, two years ago. So yeah. A lot of them obviously we missed because of lockdown. Uh, we started about twelve, and now we've got about twenty four. They're all volunteers. Yeah. Um, all different professions, none of them are vets or trained particularly with, with uh, hens. Um, and we all just sort of pitch in and take different roles, take it in turns each week. Um, well, we right. do these about every five or six weeks. I tell you what, we just go away from here, but it's a bit noisy with all the chickens. <laughs> and so we just get out here. I've got to be a bit careful because the wind noise as well. Um, so, how does the Hen Welfare Trust work then? Okay, so they work alongside commercial farmers um, who agree to allow us to. Um, take the hens and rehome them. 
uh, so we're not rescuing them away mm. from the farmers. We're rescuing. You're just them. finding a home yeah. for them. Yeah. Um, and we always do. In fact, yeah. we always have more people wanting to, um, wow. to rehome than we can. We'll be a bit short this time. Mm. Um, so we never leave any hens behind, which is quite nice. We, we collect them each day. I'm just looking over your shoulder and seeing the, the hens look very excited. They look they very are, healthy as yeah, well, actually, they don't they? They are. They were quite Lovely docile looking. when we collected them. They mm. were free range hens. Right. So we collected them in the barn where we could sort of try and catch okay. them while they were a bit subdued. Uh, but now they've got a. They're, they're, uh, they're fairly free of it, so they're hmm. going a bit crazy. So, I, I mean, I take it. I mean, there's a lot of options for people having hens. Why would why would you recommend someone would collect uh, have hens from a sort of a rehoming place? I think it's just rather than um, buying a hen from a chick, these are actually they would have gone off. It would have been the end of their hmm. lives. Yeah. They still lay. Still good. Um, for... And they are they they become so friendly and attentive, they follow well, around the garden. this looking wonderful. Yes, she's lovely. She likes having the air in there. So it's just a nice way of extending their lives. Mm. I personally got about 12 at home. Yeah. I've been doing about sort of five or six years now. Okay. And they're lovely. And, and even if you get different batches, whether you're free range or X cage, they do all get on together after a few days of pecking, you know. And, yeah. And, settling in together so, so it's quite nice. how often are rehoming options available for people pretty much every weekend this mm. weekend alone uh, the society are rehoming about 8,000 wow 8,000 and as I understand it's about uh, 818,000 since they started in 2005 that's amazing so it's great all those homes were where they yeah. would have died you know they would have been sort of sent yeah. to slaughter so they're lovely have yeah. you got any so I, I, I'm gonna get my chickens in a minute I'm just gonna ask you have you got any tips for people for keeping chickens? Um, I think handle them a lot. They're, right, they're, they're very, nice. They are actually really friendly. They're a bit mm. like cats and dogs. They they do become part of the family. Yeah, my wife's very uh, keen to Follow you around, yeah. And they are very docile, they're easy mm. to handle. Uh, the society will give you lots of tips and ideas and help if there was any problems you've got or you want ideas if, if one was poorly, you can always contact them for Do you know what, that's very, do you know what, that's very true? Because when I spoke to uh, someone on the phone, they said, oh, we've got a, a vet nurse or something or a vet that would actually talk to yeah, you, really. which is a really nice backup for someone who's yeah. not necessarily confident about chickens. You, you know, it's better than going on the internet and Googling. It's actually nice to speak to someone and have a bit of yeah, feedback, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite it? scary when you, it's the first time you yeah. get, uh, probably 30% of our rehomers will be new first right. time to it each, each yeah. time we'll get some today. Mm. Um, and if we do get any poorlies, we don't we, mm. we don't get any dire or anything, but if we get any poorlies that maybe need a little bit of TLC yeah. or perhaps they've been pecked in transport, yeah. then one of our uh, team who we call our nurse, mm. he, uh, nurse hen nurse will, will sort of tidy those up, patch Brilliant. them up. And, the volunteers will take them back and we'll look after yeah, them. Yeah, um, which so is that nice. Not isn't it? That's homeless. lovely. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay. Perhaps you could give me a little tour. Yeah, sure. You're going to carry the chicken well, round. Yeah, it's one less. To Has she got a name go. yet? No, not she, yet. Actually. Sorry. What do you think she should call her? Uh, I want mine called Roadrunner. His, his Road Harry's Runner. chicken's going to be called well, Roadrunner. You've got a good name for those because they're escapees <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Brilliant, right? Yeah. So, so, so when we arrive, we, we they come in crates, um, yeah. and these great volunteers, some of them new, bless them, it's their baptism of fire. And they're busy sterilising the them, are they? we do is to clean them out, right. sterilise them, mm. so they make sure they're all clean, ready for the next time. They're stacked and, and they're left here at this farm, which is a great host farm. Um, yeah. The lady who owns it is called Linda. Linda. Linda, this is. Do you mind? Say hello. Hello, Linda. This is Linda. Hey, Would you mind talking to me on camera? Um, I, I think you <laughs> you're, you're, it's your farm then, is it? it so, well, yes. So yes. you're part of the uh, team, as it were, that collect that. Um, I'm just the host. Everybody else does all the hard work. So yeah. <laughs> I well, just provide the space. Well, so, you're doing yeah. a brilliant job. I mean, we are very excited to get our chickens today. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah. Kids are. Uh, we've been building. Um, oh, Harry. Harry's wandering, looking around. We've been building a chicken run and coop all yeah, last yeah. few weeks, so now we're going to get some hens. Give them a good life. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Linda's got a few. Um, quite a few yeah. Oh, yours are over yeah, there. Well. Oh, yeah. we'll have a look at those in a minute, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah, well, you've yeah. got a very got nice chicken well, run. Which is they've been yeah. only just allowed to go out to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. we're starting to get nice weather now, isn't it, to go yes. out and stuff. Yeah. And of course, yeah. the bird flu, you couldn't let them yeah, out before, could you? Yeah, not could you? Yeah, so mm. it's really nice to let them go and have a 
scratch, get mm. some greenery, which is good. Yeah. Feed them bits of turf. <laughs> right. They do, they get through really quickly, don't do they? Do they yeah. like turf then, yeah. do they? They do. Well, I've, they been, I've been redoing some garden work. Mm. I've cut the turf so rather than really chucking it. Really well, there's, there's lots of bugs in there. Yeah. Because they, they scratch up the bugs. So what, do you, what treats do you think chickens like the best then, if you were going to give them some? Well, every morning my girls get some mealworms, so I took them out some handful of mealworms every morning. Yeah. And then bedtime they get some corn. Right. Okay. So, so it's like a <laughs> bedtime. No, no, it's, my it's a bedtime <laughs> treat, is it? The corn. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah That's a nice. Bedtime treat. Yeah. Lovely. Especially in winter. It's a bit like when the kids go to bed, they have a biscuit or something before they yeah. get to bed. <laughs> yeah, but I spoil my girls. So That's good. Yeah. Lovely. Brilliant. Well, we're going to have a look at your chick, the actual chickens, then. It's what everyone's been waiting for, yeah, I think. So, so it looks a little bit ramshackle at the moment because we've got escapees. So yeah. We're all in there. You've got to pen them all in, haven't you? I don't think we see Here we are. Here we are. Oh, wow. Hello. So we've got about um, 300 Goodness. Uh, 320 today. 320 chickens in there. And they've all got homes to go to. Wow, look at them all. That's 320 chickens. 320. Do you want to count them, Jack? Start counting. That's not 320. Come on. We have to very carefully count them in and out of the yeah. crates because there's no way you can obviously count them once they, when they hit right. the pen. Goodness me, look at them all. Look at them all. That's not 320. That is 320. Whoa! There we go. Hello, chicken. <laughs> that one wants to come home with me. Right, we, we are going to select our chickens soon. Sorry. I've got chicken air cut, look. <laughs> I'm about the same as them. Right. So if you want to catch yours, you want to right. Yeah, it okay. You get a lot of eggs laid. Oh, you got transit. some. Oh my oh, goodness me. Dozens and dozens. All these are laid in transit. <laughs> Oh, so wonderful. those will be cleaned up and sold for charity. Yeah. I sell them to the neighbours. Oh, that's and nice. The and they're all different colours. Look at that. Yeah, because yeah, we got we, this. we had a couple of black uh, yeah. ones in this, and they lay different colour eggs. There's oh, two yeah. in there. There's a couple in there. Black yeah, one black one in there. Oh, so they're the four so they're going right. to have a little bit of yeah. TLC, bit of TLC. Um, patching up, mm. and they're soon in touch. Ooh. Yeah. Quite still. Yeah. Well, they're dying to get out they to are. their new homes, aren't they? Goodness me. <laughs> right. I think I'm going to go and get our chickens in a minute. Right. Let's go and get our box then, boys. I think the, the kids want more, but we're going to start yes. with three. Do come again. Oh, no. I got a feeling we will be back. I think everybody starts <laughs> with two or three. Yeah. Instead of coming back for more because they they can be mixed. Yes, you know, Harry. Can be mixed. Well, if you want to take some eggs back with you, boys, those were laid by other rescue hens. Do you want to do that? We'll sure. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Is there? It's all right. It's very white. You're very kind. Thank you very much. Well, Ruth, do you know what? Really appreciate what you do and, and everything. The team look great. And uh, I will now carry these back. They are going to a good home and we'll, uh, you might be able to see us on YouTube at what we're feeding them and stuff. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Look at those. Let's go. Let's go. We have three chickens in there. Three. Let's go. In the back there. Oh. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. There's one squirrel.
squash. Uh, uh, uh. One sat down, we've got the squash. Uh, one sat down. There you go. That's alright, he's up there. Okay. There we go. All right, we show it. This. Three chickens. Three chickens. Three chickens bang for New House Farm. Safe journey. Alright. Right. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. Um, Maybe you can give us some eggs. I think you better take the eggs off there, otherwise. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, everybody, it's chicken time! Do the funky chicken, the funky chicken. Alright, let's go. Okay. Can you hear? Yeah. Sing it. It stinks. Do you think a chicken's plopped in their car? Oh, I'm flipping about 20 times, got diarrhea. I can't smell anything. I you got smell, a blocked nose, right? Oh, I can't smell anything, and I'm the closest one to the chicken. Yeah, you got, you got, a, you got a blocked nose, Harry. 100%. If you were, if you were put in the boot of a car in a cage, would you make a bit of a smell? Yeah, but not that bad. You wouldn't know where you were going, you'd probably poo yourself. It stinks! Not that bad! It is! I can't smell You guys have got block noses, I swear. Chicken time. You see, see what I mean? It stinks! I hate the smell of it. I can't smell anything. Okay. Alright. The chicken kingdom is on your service. Do you want to ring Mum up? Got your phone? Let's see how their arrival has been. Let's have a look. They made it all right yeah. in one piece. Yes! They're still in there. I see them! Hello. No issue at all. Hello. Hello, chickens. How are you doing? Look at that one's eye. Yeah. No, we heard barely anything. Right. We need to get these into the garden. It pretty much made no noise. Hello, we have chickens and we are at the bottom of the garden. Ooh, are you coming okay, out? Then. Come out and see your chickens. Okay. I saw your message, Auntie Sammy. Right. Have a look at this, guys. So th these two have got red, I think. Yeah. That one just yawned. A that one just, just yawned? Yeah. Did I said, oh, that one's got the bendy one. It's got, yeah. it's got like a That's white one. That's wonky donkey, isn't it? Well, we'll have to carry them out in a minute. We'll wait for Mum to arrive. It's got like a comb over. That's it. It's got a comb over. <laughs> you got that? Look at Jack. He's got the chicken haircut. Watch this chickens. Can hear them talking. Jack, there's no sign of poop. <laughs> Look at this. Ready? Three, two, one. Hair. Oh. Shush. Oh. You've got a chicken's bum. That one's a bit wonky, that's the one. Mate, where's, where's that's the poo? Wonky, I donkey. smell it it's so bad. They must have had a big dot. I don't think block. there's any poo in there. They must have had a big dot, man. Hello. We got chickens. Come and see the new chicken. members of the family. This is exciting. One's called, exciting. One's called donkey. <laughs> and mine's called Rodan. Crouch. Look at it. Crouch. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Chickens. One's called Wonky Donkey. Rose that one's her. called Wonky Donkey. 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 It's got a, a bit of a wonky member. comb. Well, we'll get them out and we can Aww. name them. Shall I lift them out? You can't call it Wonky Donkey. Who's doing camera work? Let's get out in the grass. Who's doing camera work? Right. Mine's called Red Runner because okay, he's isn't this. They're all escapees. Right. Excellent. Yes. Oh, this is heavy. Yeah. Come poo, Richard. Come poo. Come on, Madam. Good to be good to us. They got newspaper for bed. <laughs> Here comes the chickens, all dressed in white because they are white. Right. Oh. 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 Here we go. Right. <laughs> Have a rest. Shut the gate. Come in. Come, come in. in. Come in. Come in. Come in. No, no mummy, come in. Come in. Hey. Come in. Come in. Come in. Mum's coming. Right. Oh, look at this! They've got a little stool. Yeah. Right. Did you get the straw in them? Are you ready? Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Ready? Come on, chickens. Chicken one. 
Chicken one has arrived. All oh, straight on the grass. Chicken two has arrived. Come on. <laughs> it's stuck at the back. And chicken three has arrived. Oh, I don't know this is like the tall one. The other He's two. got a big tail, hasn't he? Yes. Snowbell, snowdrop. I give you a big long list. There you go. Right. Should we open this? Should we? And put the little. Let's get the food out. We have to get the food up the boot, don't we? Yeah, we'll do the food in a minute. Let me have a look at the messages that I got sent to my mum. So we need names of chickens then. There are some sort. How are we going to tell which was which? See, these are mum's ideas. Snowy, snowdrop. Snow, snowball, oh, yeah. snow white, blanket, uh, blanche, blanche. Right, so we, what are our options then? Um, what are we going to name them all then? Or right, Harry's choosing road, your, your cho chosen road runner, yes. yeah? What, I'll say that cool, that tall Which one. one's road runner then? The tall one, I'd say, because tall, tall. This one! That one's road runner, that's a fatty one. I know. No, no, Harry, right. call this one road runner. Yes, that's, that's Road Runner. What's Flopsy. that one? Flopsy, that's Flopsy. Hello, this is Flopsy. This is that looks more like a Road Runner to me. Yeah, Harry, Harry, that's more of a Road Runner. This is that road one looks runner. more like Road Runner. This is road me, runner. me. So that's me. Road Runner there. My Road Runner. Okay. Right, what are we going to call these two then? Um, I think, how are we going to tell the difference? Uh, I don't know. Is it well, what, what can you tell the difference? That you one's got to, a bigger tail. That one's got a slightly different comb on the top, oh, yeah. isn't it? That one's got more of a pinky colour. How are we going to tell the difference? You could call that one. I'll which tell you one, what. Which one's more white? Which one's more white? Well, well they both look the same one, to me. This one. We've got one that's really obvious, that's haven't we? That's Roadrunner so over there. That's so friendly. That's just friendly. They're running so away soft. from us. Stroke it, Dad. It's so soft. It's not scared of us. What are we going to call them? Stroke it. Snowdrop. Hang on, what's That's the names? Snowdrop. We've got Snowdrop. Roadrunner, Snowdrop, and what's the other one? That's Roadrunner. I saw Blanche. Blanche? Yeah. Where's that name come from? Well, that means white, doesn't it? Does it? Oh. Yeah, your girl's name means white, Blanche. I didn't know that. Right. So, Winter. hang on, but which one's which? Are we going to tell? See, this is why I thought you should just call them the Mrs. Chickens. This, this is why this I said that. Come on, there must be some way we can identify them. Blanche has got brown speckly bits at the front. What's the other one got? Uh, and his feet are a little bit cracked at the front. That's how you can tell. Whoa! Dad, you should have seen Blanche. Like Blanche, Blanche went like that. Did it? Yeah. Is it doing the funky it's chicken? Got a bit of a, yeah. Um, a, a cracked beak. A bit Is of it? Tiny, yeah. tiny. Have a look. See? The end. Let's have a look. That's what long time. Oh, I might need trimming. Blanche. I think it might need a beak trim. Uh, Roadrunner, Roadrunner, and Snowbell. My Roadrunner and Snowbell. Snowbell. Snowdrop. 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 That one might need a beak trim. We have Blanche, Snowdrop, and Roadrunner. Blanche, Snowdrop, and Roadrunner. Okay. Blanche, Snowdrop, and Roadrunner. Snowdrop. Right, Roadrunner. <laughs> Hello. Roadrunner looks very wonky. Snowdrop. Look at his head. Her. 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 First one's gone in the house. Look at that. Straight in. The others might follow. It's that's, going to the layer box. It's going into the layer box. No, it's not. It? No, it's on the perch. It's on the in there. perch. That's good. That's snowdrop in there. Watch your bomb. Watch your bomb. Just need some. Yeah, we need to adjust it's that. Side. That one's, one's too well, they managed to go up there, right? I think I need to get a slab or something underneath there. Yeah, chasing you. Blank. Is that all going to have some water? I got another slab. Water? water? Is there any water in there? Yeah. Yep. What about food? food? We better get well, the food and the grit out. Let's go and get it. They might be hungry, mightn't they? Yeah. Snowdrop's looking good. She's about to go in the. She's in the lamb box. Is she? She might be yeah. pop. Might well, have an egg later. Quietly, because she wants to settle herself. Yeah, they need to yeah, settle. She's, maybe she she's in. She's in one of the uh, left lamb boxes. Cool. That's good. That she's side. gone straight in. Mm -hmm. Snowdrop is. Yeah, having a big egg. explore, aren't they? The thing is, yeah, we don't want them laying eggs anywhere else. Is, it? Anyway. is she actually inside? Yeah, she is. Is she's in there? Oh my goodness. Dad, you can see Look at that. She's straight on it. How cool is that? Right, let's get this sorted then. Right, so they've all cleared off inside now. Look, we've got, but yeah, we've got so the water they, out. I know where they are. 
We've got grit here, we've got them feed, which is a bit of mash. You can see it on the floor there. The water. I know which yeah. ones are Where are they? So we have Roadrunner, Snowdrop, and then over here. We have a look inside. Have, uh, there should be blanks on the other one. So there they are. Oh no, they're the other way around. Well, there's one over that side. They're loving it, aren't they? They just sat there. We'll Hello. Out. You'll be checking the eggs tomorrow then, Harry, yep, will you? tomorrow morning. Coming out. Cool. Getting, hopefully, three eggs. They're having a lovely time. We might I just leave them now. i got to build a little shelter there for the sun. We could build a ramp and leg up along the Yeah. Hello. Well, we might leave them to it. I don't we leave them to it for an hour. Leave them to chill, I think. We'll have a look later, perhaps. All right? Mm. I'll tidy up now. Well, I'll put it all in the garden shed for now. Bye bye, chickens. Bye bye. Have some food and make some egg breath tomorrow morning. No, look, if we let them out here for a day, they'll love it. There we go, so the chickens are home. I'm going to be out here tomorrow. I think I'm going to do some more beefing up with some more wire around the sides. I'm also going to start doing wire on here rather than um, these cable ties because it's a bit more substantial. Uh, and I've got to build a shelter on there. I'm not sure whether I'll get that done this weekend or not. Um, but yeah, they are here and it's very exciting. So we are chicken. We are a chicken family now. What? Come here, remind me the names of chickens again. So we have Blanche with a little bit of cracked beak. That's yeah. how we can tell him. Yeah. Her. Uh, and then there's Snowball, which snow is drop, just snow drop. Snow snow drop, which is completely normal. And then there's Roadrunner with the comb over. Roadrunner, okay. I wish, I wish I, Roadrunner's I wish Road, we called that Roadrunner the tall one. And then the other, another one had the flat thing. The Roadrunner one. I think that's the Roadrunner Roadrunner flat. I have to put the sponsor's name on the... Uh, for the people who um, did the Zoom event back in um, February time. I need to put their names on the chicken uh, coop, which I will be doing at some point. I just haven't got round to it. I mean, a bit flat out with everything. But this is all going so far. Fingers crossed. Okay, we just hope Mr Fox doesn't turn up. But uh, brilliant. Will, so it's a lovely little project. Rehoming uh, I don't some think chickens. Mr Fox will turn up ever. Don't say that. Touch lovely wood. project rehoming these chickens and they will have a, a nice life here hopefully and we will get some eggs stay tuned we will be trying some eggs at some point and also i have had a plan i'm going to make some funky farmer scotch eggs at some point anyway crack on stay safe and don't forget come on everybody it's chicken time <laughs> Egg news, egg news. What's happening, folks? What did you just say? There's an egg! What egg? No way. Already? Let's have a look. Warm! Oh, wow. It's warm as well. My goodness me. What about this one? They've only been here an hour and they've laid an egg. How cool is that? No. Well, that was just chilling. Yeah. How? I gave them some bread. How cool is that? Our I very first some egg. Bread there for egg under our hour. You like that? <laughs> that is pretty. First egg. You, you thought it was going to be Sunday, they laid. I didn't think they'd lay an egg today. And it was that quick. Let's go. Cool. There's bread crumbs and I put some bread out for them. So your your egg business has already started then. Yep. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent, boys. Why would you put the bread on there? That's alright. Yeah, you want, don't want to put the bread on the rug. I, I wasn't sure it. where to put it. Well, I was going to show Mum. There's one line on there. One line on there. Hey? Was there one line on the other side? Yeah, there's one on the yeah. other side. Might be just laying an egg. Oh, they're all coming out now, look. One just came out I think it was. It's, one it, it's um. Oh, I've forgotten his name. It's the one with the B. That's Roadrunner out in front there with the long yeah, tail feathers. Oh, Don't yeah. disturb them. You might be laying an I egg. Think Another an egg. Laying an egg. All right, let's leave them to it. Settle down. Amazing. Oh, I don't want to 
So amazing, we didn't expect to get an egg so quick. We've got literally got an egg within the first hour of them being here. Less than an hour. Less than an hour. We just came out to feed them yes. some bread from our lunch. Should we leave them to it then? And we have been there. Jack said I bet there's not an egg. There's an egg. I said I reckon there's an egg. <laughs> there's an egg. Wow, that's amazing. Hey ho, let's go.